This is ChatGPT Agents. You click on Forms, then Create Form, type a name, then using drag and drop, build your own custom ChatGPT agent interface. Then build a multi-step agentic flow. Now you can use your own custom agent to complete large projects with just one click. You can even build multi-step agentic flows from any new chat. Wait, what? I don't have any of this inside my chat GPT. Well, you see, for the past two years, I built a Chrome extension called Ultra that unlocks hidden abilities inside chat GPT to help automate my work. But honestly, the ability to create multi-step agents inside ChatGPT has been the most powerful feature we've ever created. Let me show you some real life examples on how ChatGPT agents can literally make you 10 times more productive. So for the first example, I wanna build an agent that can create a personalized fitness package. This would be perfect for someone running a personal training business. They can take data from a client intake form and have ChatGPT put together a personalized fitness training guide for every client. We would have an input form with the client's name, age, gender, fitness goals, and food preferences, then build a six-step flow to generate each part of the training guide, from a workout plan, to a meal plan, to even a grocery list. Then have ChatGPT create a weekly progress tracker, supplement recommendation guide, and a daily stretching routine. Let's go to ChatGPT and build this out. Click on Forms, Create Form. Let's call this Personal Trainer Automation. Select an emoji. Now, as you can see, I'm building out the input form. This is something a personal trainer can get from a client intake. Things like name, age, fitness goals, dietary preferences, or food allergies. Then for the first step, we're going to ask the AI to come up with a four week workout plan. We're also going to add all the variables from the form into this step. Then for step two, we're going to ask for a personalized meal plan. Step three will be a grocery list. Step four is a weekly progress tracker template. Step five is a supplement recommendation guide. Now let's set the form as a favorite. Let's start a new chat, click on a form. Let's fill it out with some dummy data. You know, we can select fitness goals, workout styles, dietary preferences, and put down a food allergy. Let's press send. As you can see, it took all our client information from the form and is now generating a workout plan. Then it goes on to step two and starts creating a custom meal plan. Now it's doing step three and compiling a grocery list. Then for step four, it creates a progress tracker template. For step five, it creates a supplement guide. And for the final step, it puts together a custom stretching guide. A single ChatGPT prompt has a limited amount of so-called AI horsepower. This means that when you combine the power of multiple prompts, you can generate a more in-depth, higher quality and longer answer. But you see, most of the work we do doesn't fit into a chat box. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was a form you can just fill out that exactly aligns with your task and that form will automatically use multi-step flow to complete a large project with just one click. Let's take a look at a few examples to fully appreciate how powerful these new capabilities really are. So here we have a solution brainstormer agent. It's got two inputs. The first one is you describe the problem and then you put down the number of solutions to brainstorm. And as soon as you press send, it, it's gonna run a four step flow where it's gonna brainstorm the number of ideas that you selected to solve the problem. Then it's gonna create a table to analyze the pros and cons of each idea and kind of brainstorm with itself uh, which ones are the best. And then it's gonna pick the top four ideas and create a prompt on an image for each one of those ideas. Then it's gonna create an image that's split into four sections with each one of the top ideas. So this agent allows you to kind of have ChatGPT talk to itself, brainstorm solutions, pick the top solutions, and then visually show the uh, the best ideas. The next use case, I'd like to show you how to make a quick agentic flow from any new chat. So I'm gonna press this plus button and add three steps. And we're gonna have this four step agent here. And we're gonna brainstorm some clause ideas for the first step for a residential tenancy agreement. 
then we're going to press this feedback switch, which means it's going to stop after this step to kind of get our feedback for which clause ideas we like. And then once we give it feedback, it's going to generate the clauses. So it's going to generate clauses one to 10, then step three will be 11 to 20. And then the last step is 21 to 30. And by doing this, we're kind of splitting up the task into multiple prompts, because as mentioned before, every prompt has a limited amount of so-called AI horsepower. So it's a lot better to split up a big task into small pieces. So let's start that up. As you can see, we have the progress bar here. It's doing step one out of four and it's brainstorming the ideas. Okay. And you see it stopped paused on step two out of four because we had that feedback switch turned on and now we can review these. And let's say we want to swap some of these out. So I'm going to say, uh, provide the 30 clauses again, but swap clauses 12 and 17 for completely different ones. I don't like those. So we can press send and it's going to swap those out, but keep the ones that we liked. Okay. It swapped them out. And now we have our 30 clauses with the two swapped out. And let's say we're happy. We can just press resume flow and then it's going to go on to generate the actual clauses. You see it's generating clause one, generating clause two, clause three, and it's got all the different variables that you can insert into your agreement. And then now it's doing 11 to 20. It's generating that. And you see it's showing step three out of four here in the flow. So it's just continuing the flow on its own. And now it's generating the final clauses, clauses 21 to 30. And just like that, the entire agreement uh, is done. So we have our 30 clauses done. And then you can press the advanced button and download all the answers in a TXT file. This means you don't have to pluck out the answers one by one. And here we have a TXT file of all the answers. So uh, I'm going to scroll down to the clauses. So you see you got clauses one to 10, then you got 11 to 20, 21 to 30. So they're all here. You can just copy paste this into a doc and, uh, and kind of edit it quickly. You don't have to pluck the answers one by one. You just export the entire chat. And next I'd like to take a look at the review reply agent. So it's just a simple input review raw text. So you can just copy paste a review that you got from a customer. If you're selling on Amazon or selling anywhere, or even a Google maps review, and you want to have a nice reply to that customer. And let me show you the agent. It's just a one step, simple thing. Create a reply that with a conversational tone doesn't sound like AI. Make sure you don't sound corporate and keep it concise and uh, make sure you mention things that are in the review so that it sounds personal. And then you got the review text here. So the beauty about this is that it allows you to quickly uh, perform this task without having to bring up this prompt every time. So anytime you get a review, you just paste it in, press send, and then you instantly get a nice reply you can use to make your customers feel happy. And this removes a lot of friction and allows you to use ChatGPT on a much more regular basis. I want to switch gears and show you a personal agent that you can use. So I built this uh, grocery list agent and how it works is you just put in the raw text of a recipe and you get a grocery list with uh, the without quantities and without any other notes They're just categorized by grocery store aisle. So how convenient would it be if you were just to take a bunch of recipes that you want to do, throw them into chat GPT and just get an organized grocery aisle list uh, of the, all the ingredients you need. So let's, uh, let's test this out. You press on it here. I got a, huge recipe here that's just copied it from online, just a bunch of raw text, press send, and it's going to create a list of ingredients to get. And you see you got baking and spices, produce, olives, oils, and vinegars, meat and seafood. So it makes it super easy, especially if you have multiple recipes, you can just paste all of them in and get one big grocery list organized by aisle. The next agent I want to show you is uh, Cloud Permit Category Finders. This actually solves a really annoying problem for me. When I upload documents to Cloud Permit, which is software used by the city when I'm building uh, my house, it asks me to fill out a category. And let me show you the logic behind it. So they have like literally 50 categories to choose from, and I never know what category to pick in the software. 
when I upload my document. So wouldn't it be amazing if ChatGPT can just take a look at my document and tell me which category I can select because without selecting a category, it won't let me upload the document. So as you can see, it says select one category from the attached document. And then these are all the categories from cloud permit. I just pull them in and let's test this out. So you press on the cloud permit here, and then you just attach the file, which is your document. I know this is an authorization document, so I uploaded it, just letter.pdf, press send. It uploads it to ChatGPT. And this is, you see, letter of authorization. It chooses the perfect category for me. And just like that, it completes the task. Another really interesting agent I want to show you guys is a real estate package building agent. So here you just put in the property information, street address, features, number of bedrooms, number of garages, property type. And let me show you how I built this. So this is the form layout that I built. And then the prompt flow, it, the first step is create an MLS description for a property with the following details. And then it pulls all that data from the form. And then step two, generate uh, five email blasts with subject lines and body copy and then step three is generate a facebook post promoting the property so just like that you can build a multi-step flow if you're a real estate agent and chat gpt can create an entire package of different information for you for a single listing and all you need to do is just input your listing data so the street address the features just makes it super easy you press send and then chat gpt goes step by step creating that real estate package for you doing all the different tasks the next agent I want to show you is a book asset generator. So all you need to do is put in 10 image descriptions into this one input, and then it's going to go ahead and use a total of 10 steps to generate 10 separate images. So let's say you're making a kid's, uh, kid's book and you want to have uh, an image for each page. So you take that text with the 10 image descriptions and then on the first step, you're asking, please generate an image of just the first one in a cartoon style for a kid's book. The image aspect ratio should be nine to 16. Then step two, now generate the second image, the third image, the fourth image, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the 10th. And just like that, it's going to go step by step generating 10 images in one shot. So before this, what you could do is generate use chat gpt to generate the description for 10 images and then take that entire blob of text and throw it in right here press send and it's going to run the 10 steps and generate 10 images for you in one shot the next agent i want to show you is uh, one that i use all the time it's to generate hooks and titles so all you need to do is uh, write what the video is about and then words that the title must have and then as soon as you do that, it's going to create eight hooks and it's going to do it based on what the video is about. And here's a list of hooks that I know have done really well for other videos. So it's going to take those eight example hooks and rejig them so that they work for what my video is about. Then step two, it's going to create the titles. It's going to give me three title options and it's going to make sure that it includes the words that the titles must have from the form. And then here's a list of titles that did well. So it's going to uh, rejig these titles to work with uh, what my video is about. So for the final example, I want to show you a bank statement analyzer agent. So when you click on it, you'll see there's upload fields for 12 files. And these are for 12 months of bank statements. As soon as you upload these, we're going to use 13 steps to analyze every month individually. So you got month one, month two, month three, and it's going to analyze each file one by one. So it's going to be one prompt per, per file, which means there's going to be a lot more AI horsepower that's going to be directed at every individual file. So if you were to combine all these statements and send them into one prompt, it's going to struggle because there's just so much data there that it's not going to be able to really dive in deep. And this is something that is very useful for like lawyers, accountants, and other types of professionals where you have some kind of project with a lot of data and a lot of files, you can connect the files to different steps and kind of go step by step where, you know, step one is analyzing the first file, then the step two is doing something else with a different file. And then at the end, you can use a very powerful model to give you some kind of global advice on everything. So that's exactly how we have it set up here. So now you're probably wondering, 
How do I upgrade my ChatGPT with Ultra? And what is the cost? So upgrading your ChatGPT is just a one-click Chrome extension install. You will see your ChatGPT instantly transform and get all this new functionality, like the ability to build and use web apps right inside ChatGPT, a prompt library sidebar where you can manually save your best prompts or have ChatGPT use AI to generate custom prompts to automate your life. It also allows ChatGPT to break out of the chat window and write your emails, talk to YouTube videos, be your assistant across the web, work inside your documents, and do your spreadsheets. So how much is this upgrade gonna cost? I mean, here's software that just unlocks ChatGPT in spreadsheets. If you click on pricing, you can see they charge $19 a month. This is literally just one of dozens and dozens of features we have with Ultra. So you're probably thinking we charge $50 a month or even $100 a month. The reality is actually exactly the opposite. My goal with this software is to make using AI for work accessible to as many people as possible. This is why for people watching this video today, we set up a special discount link. You can get Ultra for $67 a year instead of the much higher regular price by going to getultra.ai slash YT or by clicking the link in the description. I'm looking forward to getting your feedback on the software and hearing about all the amazing things you guys are doing with it.